Welcome to the Clayton Center. This month's show features two fabulous artists. We have a mixed media artist, Heidi Peach, and a lithographer, Susan Soper. Both of these artists have some very, very interesting, wonderful art pieces, a wide range of content and topics. Definitely want to come by and see the lithography that we have here in the Clayton Center, because this is one of the rare art forms that you will see in an art exhibit. So if you get an opportunity, Come visit the Clayton Center, where we bring art to Clayton. My name is Susan Soper, so I've been a printmaker for over 25 years. So I work in stone lithography. It's a very old process from 1798. And I also work in waterless, which is a newer hybrid of stone lithography. My subjects are usually people I know, as well as people I might take their picture in a crowd. But by the time I draw them, they don't look like themselves anymore. So stone lithography um, was discovered by Senefelder in 1798. It is a grease-based printmaking process where you draw on the stone with a grease crayon. The stone is etched with nitric acid and gum arabic. And after you do that, you have to keep the stone wet as you roll the greasy ink on. And the ink only sticks to the drawing. Waterless is a hybrid. The matrix is aluminum plates, and instead of the, the nitric acid etch, there's a layer of silicone that gets put on the plate to separate the image from the non-image. And the multicolors are achieved by several plates of the same size, and each plate is assigned a color and then registered. So these are limited edition, hand-printed originals. about five years old with my dad and as I grew up my love for art continued to grow. Got into Maryland Institute College of Art and I graduated with a BFA in interior design. So for 15 years I did commercial design work after stage three cancer. It took everything out of me. <laughs> so I went back to my art and it was more of a therapy art then. And as time went on, I realized that I love this more than anything in the world. This is my third show here at the Clayton Center. Some of my artwork is done plein air and I can't get it finished, it seems right when I'm there because the sun is moving. So I have to finish that at home and I just take pictures with my cell phone and, and I finish them. And other paintings that I have here are paintings that were inspired from my trips or other people's trips that have wanted me to paint certain things. Um, like for instance, the safari pictures where my friend Judy went on that trip. I do have some historical homes of Clayton here. That was from my interior design background. So that was more of elevation drawings. Um, they're just flat drawings showing the fronts. And there's a set of nine on each drawing. And I sold quite a bit of them. They are numbered prints. I also have acrylics here, photographs here, and watercolors. 
Uh, it's been very fun and freeing. It makes me feel great. Actually, I don't even mind people watching me paint. I like that as well. I get energy from it. Um, I'm hoping to have a studio in town soon where people can watch me um, work. I hope to work Monday through Friday and have the weekends off like most people. <laughs>